In this video, I want to talk to you about the single most important piece of equipment on your clarinet. It's probably not what you're thinking. And then I'm also going to give sort of a hierarchy on what I think makes the most impact on the actual playing equipment wise. My name is Josh Gu, and after years of studying the clarinet with some of the best teachers from around the world, I am excited to be sharing my knowledge with you. So go to quickstartclarinet.com or check the description on this video to see all of the wonderful resources I have to help you reach your clarinet dreams. And of course, subscribe to this channel for weekly clarinet and music tips and tricks. All right, before I reveal it, I want you to pause the video, go in the comments and tell me what you think the most important piece of equipment is. So I'll give you some hints. It's not the brand of clarinet. The clarinet doesn't matter. Student versus professional makes a difference, but not as big a difference as the most important. Uh, it's not the bell. The bell, does the bell really even do anything? Uh, it's not the fancy barrels. It's not the ligature. It's not the hundreds of dollars of fancy custom mouthpiece or any fancy work that you can do to your mouthpiece. It's not the gold or silver plated keys. The most impactful piece of equipment is the reed. And hopefully this doesn't come as a surprise. You've probably noticed when you've played on different reeds that you get vastly different results. I once told a student that was trying out some clarinets that yes, there's differences from clarinet to clarinet, but really I think there's more difference from reed to reed than clarinet to clarinet. Not to say that the clarinet doesn't completely not matter. It does matter to some extent and it does make a difference and the barrel and the mouthpiece and the, even the bell and the ligature do make a difference but really that reed is probably going to make more difference than anything. So if you're really frustrated with your equipment I would suggest starting at the reed and sort of trying different brands, trying different strengths, seeing what you can do to get a reed that's going to work better for you, even if it means going through all of the reeds in a box just to find the few that are the best in there. Now the other thing that I wanted to do in this video, since I just said the reed is the most important, I want to also go through the other parts of the equipment sort of in order of importance, meaning the ones that I think make the biggest difference when you actually change them. So the reed, a bad read and good read, night and day, totally different instrument, makes the biggest difference. And then we sort of branch out from there for what makes the least difference. So I think the next big thing is definitely the mouthpiece. So if you've tried a bunch of reeds, you're still not happy, maybe you can start experimenting with mouthpieces and exploring that. Um, then from there, I would say probably the barrel or maybe the clarinet itself, they're sort of similar. Uh, you can take a student model clarinet and put a nice barrel on it and get a good effect. Uh, you can t put a student model barrel on a good clarinet and have a bad effect. So the barrel definitely makes a, a big deal because again if you think the reed vibrating against the mouthpiece is the sort of big initiator of the sound then it gets sort of projected through the barrel and then into the clarinet. So if something in the barrel is throwing things off then that's going to affect the whole clarinet playing. Then of course it's the actual clarinet. Uh, also while I'm talking about equipment, the clarinet being in good repair is also really really important. That could make a bigger difference than the reed. If you have a really big leak happening or something's totally out of adjustment, then no matter what you do to your reed you're not going to get good results. But assuming the equipment's in good shape, the reed's the most important. And then the bell I think is almost the last. Um, the bell does make a difference. Uh, it can sometimes open things up, especially the low E and the long B where the sound is actually coming through the bell um, can definitely make a difference. And last but not least I think is the ligature. The ligature definitely can make a difference, but it's, it's usually just a small difference in the feel, not quite so quantifiable as changing other parts of the equipment. So that's sort of my hierarchy of the importance of the equipment. One last thing that I'll say, possibly more important than the reed, is actually yourself as well. Your air supply, your embouchure, your tongue position, the voicing, all of those things uh, are also hugely impactful, possibly more than the reed. I would say your body, 
the reed and the mouthpiece are really the combination that's coming together to make the clarinet go. All the other stuff just helps make it a little bit easier and work a little bit better, but it's really the reed mouthpiece and you that comes together to make it work. So if it's a not super resistant mouthpiece reed setup, then you have to be a little bit more relaxed to balance that out. If it's more resistant, then you can be more firm and use more air to balance it out. So it's always a balancing act, sort of finding that Goldilocks spot of what you need to do here to get whatever combination you have here to vibrate its best and resonate its best through whatever you put on the other end. That, that part's not quite as important, in my opinion at least. Um, like I said, it does make a difference, but not as much of a difference as simply changing the reed. So next time you're practicing and you're like, oh, my clarinet's terrible. Do I need a new clarinet? Should I, should I buy a new barrel or something? Just try some different reeds and, and see what results you get. This also goes the other way too. When you are trying clarinets, you may, if, especially if it's your first time trying multiple clarinets, you might find yourself being a little disappointed because they're not making as big of a difference as you'd expect because we can get more variation just from changing the read. So I hope this video helps you to think a little bit differently about what's going on with your read, mouthpiece, and yourself combination and gives you an idea of what piece of equipment you might want to upgrade next. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thank you.